What company are you surprised still exists in 2023? The car wash near my house that's down a dirt road. It's got to be a front for something. Whoever is printing that yellow pages book and throwing it on my driveway. Blackberry. Apparently they develop car software and cybersecurity products now. AOL. Radio Shack. I know they're almost gone. But honestly I expected them to be out of business over a decade ago. Especially given all the former employee accounts of how poorly the average store was run. Nokia. Started off as a pulp mill. Then moved into rubber. Then started making things with the pulp. Like toilet paper. Gum boots. And tires. Then moved into computers. Then mobiles phones. And now produces networking equipment. Been quite a journey. McAfee. Mary Kay. Family Video still has a location in my hometown. Although they put up a sign about six months ago saying they sell CBD so the I think the end is near. The Pinkerton Detective Agency. They're currently part of a larger security conglomerate. But these guys built their reputation on breaking strikes and generally being corporate thugs for hire a hundred years ago or more. MLMs. Seriously. The internet exists. Just Google, name of company plus MLM. It's that easy to see if you're falling for one. Truck nuts. The mattress store down the street from my house. Fazolals. Incredible how many of them I've seen driving from Indy to KC. Swear I haven't seen them since the early O. Circuit City and Radio Shack, both still have an active website. McAfee. First thing I remove on any PC. Flickr. But I guess it's nice for professional photographers. The typewriter repair shop in Berkeley, California on University. The Church of Scientology. 12 Sears locations are somehow still in business right now. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.